Trinity B1 ISC1 Four Skills Test CELT Secure English Language Tests B1 English Test ISC1 Skilled Worker Health and Care Worker Scale-Up Worker Student Visas This is Trinity College London ISC1. My name's Angelina. I am your interlocutor for your speaking and listening test. What's your full name? My full name is Deepak Dev Murari. What's your topic's title for today? My topic that my topic is today is my hobbies. What are your four topic points? My first topic is a uh, playing cricket. My second topic is a uh, eating outing. And third topic is a uh, watching TV. And fourth topic is a uh, traveling. Okay. Where do you like to travel? I like travel to I recently have been traveling is uh, Scotland. How do you prefer to travel? I and my with family. And sometimes it's my friend. Not who. I'm asking you how. How? How always shows the process of something. How? How do you travel? By car, by bus, by train? How do you okay. travel? Hmm. By my by my car. Hmm. Keep this in mind, Murari. How do you travel? How do you travel to work? Not who. Who is different? How is different? Okay, okay, I have to start again, please. Never mind. Okay. Once again, I'll ask you some questions about traveling. Um, where do you like to travel? I bus and train. Where? Where do you like to travel? Okay, I, I, I like travel to Scotland. Okay, and with who do you like to travel? I and my family, and with sometimes it's my friend. How often do you like to travel? Mm, I usually just busy six days, but sometimes I go and there. Okay, Dave, when the examiner will ask you how often something, to the point answers. We don't need extra stories. Okay, to the point answers. For example, oh, how often do you travel? I travel sometimes or maybe once in a year, maybe once in a month, you know, something like it. So uh, how do you prefer to travel? I travel is a once in a year and sometimes is a twice a year. Hey. How? How do you prefer to travel? How? I am I am in my family. Dave, I want to teach you five W's and an H. Okay? If you understand that, I'm sure many of your problems would be solved. Get ready to uh, take some notes. Very important for speaking and for listening also. Dave, listen to me. It is not hard. This is something very basic that you need to understand. We call them five W's and an H. Five W's and an H. Okay, so uh, continuing with it, we have uh, this one here. That is what, what is your name? What do you do? What, what is actually the name of something? If we get uh, further with, what and after that we move to where you know where where is only used for location of something or where something is you say where is your uh, home country where is your hometown where is my bag where is my uh where's my uh you know where's my wife right where where is your office where where is only used for location of a place a place in okay Australia. you understand where where means kaha in Hindi, right? Where, okay? 
And then yeah. if we move further, where, then we have what, where, then we have who. This who, W-H-O, is only used for a person, not for anybody else. Okay, because who can only be used for a person, like a teacher, your wife, your parents, your boss. Who is your favorite singer? Who is your favorite teacher? With who do you like to travel? Who? Who is only talking about a person? Do you understand? Who? Murari, do you understand me? Yes, yes, yes. Who? Then comes the next W, that is what, where, who, uh, and that is when. What is this? When? When is about time? When do you travel? I travel on Christmas or maybe I travel on Diwali. When do you travel? I travel in the morning, travel at night. When? When do you watch TV? I watch TV in the evening. When? When is about time and about days. When? Okay? Time and days. Then uh, comes the next one. What, where, who, when, uh, which. Okay, now this which is just like what. Okay, this which is just like what, but it gives you a chance to choose between two things or more than two things. So if I would say, uh, which is your favorite dress out of many dresses which are displayed in here? And I say, okay, which is your favorite one? Which is your favorite subject? Because there are many subjects. So I ask you, which one is your favorite? Okay, which? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have done when, where, who, which. And why? Why is a reason of something? Why? Why do you want to travel? Why do you like to travel? Why do you like to learn English? Why do you watch uh, comedy shows on TV? Why? Okay? Okay. Then we have what, where, who, when, which, why. Although they say there are five W's, but actually there are six W's. Now we're going to move to an H. H means how, okay? How always shows the process of something. If I would ask you, how do you make tea? How do you talk to your friends? How do you talk to your friends? I talk my friends. I talk to my friends over the phone. Process of something. How do you take online classes? I take classes online. How? How do you travel? I travel by car. The equipment or the process that you use for doing something, that is how. How do you okay. cook food? I cook food in the microwave or I cook food on the stove. How do you celebrate your birthday? I celebrate my birthday in the restaurant with my friends. Okay? Yeah. Th then comes the word, how often? How often? Most of the people in England probably pronounce it as how often as well. But your examiner will not say often. They are going to use the standard pronunciation and they'll call it often. Okay. So when I say, yeah. how often do you eat pizza? And you say, I don't eat pizza. Maybe sometimes or maybe once in a week. Do you understand? Okay. Yeah. How often shows the frequency of time? How many times? If I will tell you in Hindi, then kitni bar, right? Frequency. Yeah of time if you get to learn this your answers might be precisely correct okay because this is okay. all what the examiners are after your experience and asking you when what where who which why how how often and just like that okay okay so yeah. now i'm gonna get back to it and i hope you do a better job once again all over yeah. Ready? You ready? Yes. This is Trinity College London ISC1. My name is Angelina. I am your interlocutor for your speaking and listening test. What's your full name? My full name is Deepak Dev Murari. What's your topic's title for today? Today is my topic is my hobbies my four points first point is a uh, playing cricket mm. second point is uh, eating outing third point is uh, watching tv 
and fourth point is traveling. Dave, you will wait for the examiner to ask you the next question. Okay, you will not just okay. by yourself say, oh, no, you will wait. Examiner will ask you, uh, okay, could you tell me what what is your topic's title for today? And you will say, my topic's title is uh, uh, hobbies. And what are your four topic points? Then you will mention your topic points. You will wait for okay. the examiner to question. Okay, once again, yeah. once again. Okay, what's your topic's title for today? My hobbies. What are your four topic points? My first point is my playing cricket. Second point is eating outing. Third point is watching TV. And fourth point is traveling. Okay. Where do you like to travel? <clears throat> I usually like to travel in Scotland. How do you like to travel? How do you like to travel? Hello, Dave, are you with me? Yes, yes. So how? Car, bus, yeah. train, what? How do you like to travel? Okay, I travel by car. How do you travel to work? My maybe sometime bus and sometime train. Hmm. Okay. And who do you like to travel with? I am family and my sometime friend. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So could you tell me about an experience when you recently traveled? Yeah, of course. I recently have been traveled as a Wells. Mm -hmm. And I go went Wales and I will see Bishop mm -hmm. Bishop Garden and Villas. That's a good architecture and historical place. Thank you. Now let's talk about the next point that is playing cricket. How often do you play cricket? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I usually weekdays are busy, but I usually play as a weekends. Focus on the point. I am asking you how often do you play cricket? Focus on the first point. You know, that is the first. I play cricket on weekends because I, I am busy most of the time. Put, give the answer first, then tell the extra information. Once again, how often do you play cricket? I play cricket almost weekend, but weekdays I have a little bit busy. Okay. And uh, where do you play cricket? I am play cricket in a nearby ground. Okay. Who is your favorite cricketer? My favorite cricketer is uh, MS Tony, Indian mm. cricket team. Okay. And... Uh, do you like to play cricket alone or with someone else? Someone else. I why like cricket with someone else. Okay, why do you enjoy playing cricket? I like cricket. And I some I play cricket and some exercise and I have a change to my mood because I have play the cricket. Hmm. Okay. Uh, could you tell me about a recent cricket match that you watched? Yeah, I recently cricket match. I see watching for England and Australia match last Sunday. Hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. My next point. Uh, so, do you like to eat out on special occasions? Yes, I. I like. Special occasion. Eat now. Then. Complete your sentence. Do you like to eat out on special occasions? Yes, I like. 
Open your mouth, sir. Complete it. I like to eat out on special occasions. Okay. Yes. Do you like to eat out on special occasions? I like to eat out on special occasion. With who do you like to eat out? I prefer of my with my family and sometimes my friends. Okay. What do you like to eat when you eat out in a restaurant or cafe? I mostly like the Punjabi dish and South Indian foods. And sometimes I try the pizza and burger. Mm. Okay. How do you travel to your favorite cafe? My favorite cafe sometimes is a train and by car. Thank you. And how often do you eat out? Usually I have weekends, maybe month. Thank you. Thank you. That is nice. Okay. Last point was traveling, eating out, uh, playing cricket and probably watching TV. Yeah. Okay, what kind of TV programs do you like to watch on TV? I like as a Indian comedy show and sometimes as a Hollywood movie. Mm. At what time of the day do you watch TV? I usually finish my work and every day watching TV, but weekendly mostly watching the TV. Oh, sir, I'm asking what time of the day do you watch TV? Morning, evening, afternoon? Okay. I prefer the evening time watching TV. Okay. Do you have any rules related to watching TV in your house? No, sorry. No, you don't have any rules like don't watch TV a lot, don't watch TV late night, and uh, just watch TV for one hour. You don't have such rules in your house for your children for watching TV? You don't have such rules, sir? Because I have I have no children. Do I have any no rules? <laughs> Congratulations, sir. I'm proud of you for not having children. That's very nice. Okay. Uh, so you don't have any rules for your wife? Any rules that you have to tell me? Like maybe you have rules for yourself that watch TV just for one hour, two hours? No, I have no rules. In my home. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so do you like to watch TV uh, on special days? Yeah, of course. I like uh, Diwali. And See, sir, Christmas. my question is, do you like to watch TV on special days? And you're saying, yes, I like Diwali. No, you tell me about watching TV. Do you watch TV on special days? Give me my answer. Yes, I watch in TV special day. That's fine. Okay, so what kind of TV programs do you like to watch on special days in your life? Yes, like a special days, like a marriage function video watching. Wedding anniversary, wedding videos. Birthday party. Mm. Mm. That's Watching all? Video. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. This is the end of the discussion round. That was a difficult one. But I hope so very soon something good will happen. Okay. Practice makes perfect. Mm. Uh, yeah. Now let's uh, quickly move to the conversation part. I will have a two minutes conversation with you. Get ready. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. This is a two minutes conversation part and the topic is chosen by the examiner. The topic that I've chosen for you is festivals in your country. So what kind of festivals do you celebrate in your country? I usually celebrate mostly people in the Diwali. Is a fake country. Okay, how do you celebrate these festivals? This festival 
celebrate from long history because this day is uh, becoming Lord Rama is uh, in own home. Mm. Okay. All right. Uh, what kind of clothes do you like to wear on your favorite festival in your country? Yeah, this is... Hmm? All people... Yes, all people that get traditional dress in this festival. Mm -hmm. And this festival, long festival is a five to seven days mm -hmm. festival. Every people is a traditional dress. We are a traditional dress. And what about you? What kind of clothes do you like to wear? I have a traditional dress. I have a wear all times traditional dress. Okay. Do you like to travel on your favorite festival? No, I have no prefer travel because every everybody is a get together and have festival. So I will not go travel every place. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Now I want you to ask me two questions about festivals in my country. Okay. How your how hmm? you celebrate for how you celebrate for your festival? Proper question. How do you celebrate your favorite festival in your country or according to yeah. the topic? Mm -hmm. Ask again. How how do I do you? Hmm? How do you your country festival? So main word is missing. How do you celebrate? Yeah. How do you celebrate your country festival? Okay. How do you, do you celebrate your country? How do you celebrate festival your in your favorite country? festival in your country? How do you celebrate your favorite festival in your country? Hmm? Repeat yourself, uh, Mohit, uh, not Mohit, your name is Dave. Dave, you need to open your mouth to, to say that sentence, okay? You need to practice for it. Yeah. Yes, please tell me. Ask me the question, please. How do you do celebrate for your favorite Mm. Favorite scene. Again, festival. once again, in how do you country. celebrate your favorite festival in your country? Again, again. How, how do you do celebrate your favorite festival in your country? How do you do means how are you? So how do you celebrate your favorite festival in your country? Yeah. Once again. How do you hmm. celebrate your favorite festival in your country? I like to celebrate it by having a family get together and enjoying good food. Second. So you, you prefer for your... You prefer traveling to your festival celebration? Yeah. Mm. Dave, you need to understand that this is the main process where the examiner is marking you, right? So faster, yeah. faster. Once again, same question, but faster. Once again, same question, but ask again. Fast. You prefer for, you, you, you prefer for traveling for your festival celebration? Celebration for your festival? Yes. Do you like to travel on your favorite festival or do you prefer to travel on your favorite festival? So for this, um, Dave, listen to your examiner carefully, okay? And repeat the same questions that your examiner will ask you. I know you're trying, but when you ask a question, 50% of the words are not correct, right? It's like, yeah. I eat an apple and you say, apple eat me, right? So there's a problem. Yeah. Right? So you need to work on that part. It's okay. Practice makes perfect. One day you'll be good at it. But that day is not today. 